Hello, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and I'm going to show you how you can make your harmonica sound like a train. So for this lesson you will need a harmonica in the key of C and we are going to jump straight in and I'm going to show you step by step the exercises that will get you to making your harmonica sound like a train. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your foot tapping on the beat. So you're going to count one, two, three, four, okay? Now that your foot's tapping, I want you to play holes one, two, and three on the harmonica, and you're going to play on an in-breath, then an out-breath, and you're going to change each beat, so that's going to be... Okay? If you're finding that on the out-breath you're getting this kind of nasty squashed sound, you need to change something a little bit about your playing. So what you need to do is you need to loosen your lips a little bit and let some of the extra air dissipate either side of the harmonica. So on the in-breath you can you can pull through uh, without loosening your lips, but on the out-breath you need to let them loosen a little bit and do this kind of relaxed uh, out-breath. Okay, so let's try that one more time with a relaxed out-breath. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're going to take it up to the next level. Exercise two is going to be playing eighth notes. So an eighth note, if you don't already know, is a note that lasts for half a beat. So instead of playing one in-breath and then one out-breath, you're going to do two in-breaths and then two out-breaths. So that's going to be... Okay, so it's already starting to sound a little bit train-like. Um, I want you to practice that a little bit until you're comfortable and you can keep it going without losing your breath. And then we're going to take it to the next level where you actually get the train. Um, and this is what you need to do. You need to say naka taka, naka taka. So the naka, they both come in on the in breath. So it'll be na ka ka. And then the taka come on the out breath. Taka, naka taka, naka taka. So I know you might feel a little bit weird doing this, but I want you to try doing it without the harmonica for a little while. And really think about what's going on inside your mouth. So you should feel that, that on the on the K sounds, on the K, K, your tongue is kind of bending back and, and hitting the roof of your mouth. K, K, and you're getting that really strong sound. And then the T, 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 your uh, tongue is pushing against your teeth and T, making that nice strong T sound. And this is what gives the harmonica the rhythm. So when you're comfortable doing that, we're going to try doing it with the chords on the harmonica. So that'll be... Okay, and really try and get that same kind of rhythm as me. So you've got... Okay, so you should be able to play that indefinitely and only play it at the speed that you can play it without tripping up. Because quite often we get to the stage and we're like, woohoo, I can make the harmonica sound like a train, but I want to go faster. And you play really fast and then you trip up. That's not good. You want to get a really strong foundation and then gradually increase the speed. So just keep it kind of... And then when you're really comfortable with that, it might take a few weeks, might take a few months, that's totally fine. You can then speed it up and get it. Okay, but just make sure that you're not stumbling while you do it. And then the next part of the train, because a train isn't a train without a whistle, is the whistle. So the whistle sounds like this. Okay, so what we're playing there is what's known as a double stop. So before when you were playing three holes, you were playing a chord. When you play a double stop, you're just playing two chords, uh, two holes. And the holes that you're going to be playing are holes three and four on a draw note. 
Okay, so try not to have your mouth open too wide and end up with because that won't sound so good for the whistle. So try and keep it nice and narrow. Okay, and you're gonna say wah wah on an in-breath, which sounds like weird Darth Vader swirly noises. Okay, and you've got to try and do it without moving your lips. So it sounds a bit disgusting without a harmonica, but if you try it with the harmonica, Yeah, starts to sound a little bit more like a train whistle. And you might find that you get something a little bit more like this when you do it. And what's happening there is that you're kind of just flapping your tongue around in your mouth. And you're doing the right kind of motion, but you're not doing it strongly. And strongly doesn't mean faster, it just means with a, a more muscular, tense tongue. So you should really feel like your tongue is dragging back and, and pushing up against the roof of your mouth. Okay, imagine that you're trying to suck all the air through the harmonica and you know, imagine it's a straw. So you're gonna do that and then you're going to breathe all the air out over the harmonica with really loose lips as you get back into position. Um, so you're just going to do the whistle and breathe out over the harmonica with an open mouth. So it'll be like this. So you, you can't hear it like a loud chord. It's not like a It's just air going through the harmonica and air going either side of the harmonica. So let's try that a couple of times. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then when you're comfortable with that, we need to see if we can put the train rhythm together with the wah-wah. And the, and the whistle, you know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play two bars of the train rhythm, and then I'm going to play the whistle, and then I'm going to play another bar of the train rhythm, okay? So try and play along with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, so you know, practice that. And if you're finding that uh, you know you're forgetting to do that out breath after the whistle, you'll probably overinflate. And if you're finding that you're overinflating in general, that's very common. What it usually means is that you're not loosening your lips enough on the out breath. So just really practice getting those lips nice and loose. Go back to exercise one. Uh, so yeah, now what you can do, uh, if you click below in the description, you can get to the full lesson of this. Uh, where I have the free tab sheet for you to download, as well as audio clips of each exercise so that you can play them over and over nice and slowly and get comfortable with them. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's everything you need to make your harmonica sound like a train. Uh, so now you can do something for me. You can give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below and you can subscribe to my channel because I put a new harmonica lesson up every week and I wouldn't want you to miss out. And you can finally, if you have any questions or any problems or any suggestions, anything whatsoever, write something below in the comment section. That would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Join me next week.